Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hair Tube. Does this person look familiar? <laughs> you may remember from a video we did, how long ago was it? Oh, three months or so. About yeah. three months ago, yeah. So Sarah's back for um, a re retouch, I guess you could say. So if you could just dip your head forward. We're going to address the regrowth area. Would you head up now? <laughs> Stay like that. And um, maybe make her a little bit blonder as well. We'll just take some of that through the ends. We're going to be using our light master with bonder inside that's going to look after the existing light lightness in the hair and hopefully it makes it a little bit brighter um, we're going to get started but we're going to add some color first and i'll talk to you about why i'm placing it and where i'm placing it what i'm using um, and then we're going to do a nice haircut keeping it long redoing the shape we did and i think you'll be happy with the result yep. right. you remember what to do now thumbs up oh see you soon Okay, let's do some colour. So you can see here we've got the existing colour from last time. So the goal is today to stretch out some of this root by bringing some new uh, lightning into the hair and then going over what's there and making it brighter and lighter. Once we've done that, we'll probably stretch the root, tone the ends, and I'll stop there. Okay, so we're going to start in the back. And um, as I said already, the, co the, the focus today is to, to get some colour in this area and take some through those. See the falls are in, um, we're going to process that about half an hour, maybe a little bit longer than half an hour. Um, then once that's done, we're going to do a root colour and an end colour and you should see um, it brighter, cleaner, fresher, nicer. And ready to take on the road. See you soon. Thinking about you, thinking about you, take a shower. Time for root color. We are using Matrix Color Sync, and I'm using 20 grams of 5N, 10 grams of 3N, and 20 grams of 5VV because we want it to be a violet, cool, deep brown root. And then on the ends, we're going to use. P, V, and M together, which should be quite an interesting uh, combination. Actually. So we'll see how see how that turns out in a bit. So our root colour is on, um, we need to let that process for the full 15 minutes, otherwise what generally happens, especially when you're using tones like V with N, is you'll see that violet come through really strong, if you don't give time for the N to sort of deposit, um, you find that it looks a little bit opaque for me, I actually want this to be quite deep and dark, because what it actually does is it'll, it'll make the blonde look blonder and brighter, so that's the idea here, so we'll let that process then um, Sarah's over to the basin, I'll put her toner on the ends, um, I won't bore you with watching me do that because I'm going to apply the basin, then when you come back we're going to blow dry her hair and because I'm just making a slight change to her haircut, I'm not going to make a huge change, we're actually going to cut her hair dry today, so we'll be back in a sec, well, 
set your time, about 30 minutes our time. Colour's done. It's time for what I would call, not even a trim, I would describe it best as editing Sarah's haircut. So let's start from the back. Because I've got a rectangle section straight down the middle here. So I'm just going to very gently nick those ends off, edit those ends as I suggested. It's such a minor adjustment that it's actually almost completely unnecessary to even take a section. Take the my left hand side, bring it into the centre, and continue to do that until we run out of hair. I'm really um, loving this colour. I think it's um, a really nice progression from what we had when we started. shaped up front. You're really going to see those long pieces that I placed around the back and the sides to just pop and make it give, um, what do we say? We're going to create that, that pop and that brightness just to make it look a bit brighter and a bit lighter. Because again, if we were to go and make the entire head considerably lighter, we would have to factor in that that's probably not great for the condition of the hair. And um, condition comes first, right? Unless it's short hair and the person is uh, well aware that it's um, going to compromise your condition and, and you're not worried about that. But for me, condition is always top priority. Chin down, Dom. Thank you. Excellent. Let's move those off there. Just working on our little triangle sections there again. Control the distribution of hair for our bangs. And then the rest of the shape works in from that. And I'm just sectioning it there so you guys can see. that just through here. Sorry about the sunlight, I'm in the way there. Showing that back in like it was last time. Any little pieces like just cleaning up that little bit of graduation that just sticks out. Same on this side. You can see there's those little pieces that cut it from where I'm standing. Obviously, we've got quite a strong guide there, so I'm not concerned about missing my guideline. You can see those few little hairs there that are overhanging. It's um, literally, as I said, it's an edit. We're just editing this shape. There's no major change to the shape. It's just literally nicking off those split ends. And this would be very similar. Be surprised if there's much that falls into that guideline that we just trimmed back in. If there is, we just nick it off. Again, you could just see these tiny little hairs there. The shape's still there and it's fantastic. So when we pull it back, we're back to where we were three months ago. 
but where that new colour's been added now, it pops right near her jawline. And then again, we just got those soft, the softness like coming through the ends there, those soft layers. And you can see those two blonde ones that I put in there, they pop there. Because we, we laid it, you can see these ones that come through here. And because I've made it deeper around the, her hairline, we spoke about, um, what did we say? We didn't want to do something that didn't suit your skin tone. So I made sure I went cool and violet and deep around the hairline with the root stretch so that it does complement a skin tone and it makes those um, lighter pieces look even lighter. Pretty always smooth set up makes it better. Head back on. Yep. This I like to put just around the hairline, just where it gets a little bit fluffy. And you brush it, get some nice definition. Got some sunlight coming in there too, so you can see those tones from the sunlight. I'll get you just to do this for me, just your head like that. Close your eyes. So I just like to spray it on the inside, just so it keeps that shape done. And now the other side, gorgeous. Same again. Actually, I might just stay on this side. It's easier. I'll put my in this side, and then just on the hands, just to get those little flyaways. Roots. Well, was it better than the first one? Was it better? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at you. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, yes. Was <laughs> leaving me hanging. Why not like it? I think it's good. I think obviously, um, beautiful thing about seeing people come back is we get to see the progression. You get to build on what you did last time. As I said, we just edited the haircut um, and then the color because of the existing color allowed us to build some more color through there and complement was already there. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me again. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Thanks again for tuning in guys. If you think you may know someone who may benefit from this video, please share it with them. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, if you can, that would be great. And if you, uh, what you've got to do, you've got to click the bell. I'm like, I mean, I just upload videos and just hope people like them, but I've, I've got to get with the flow. So please subscribe, click the bell, share if you know someone who may benefit from it. Um, but from uh, me and Sarah, um, maybe she'll come in a third time. Yes, definitely. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks guys, take care. See you soon. Bye. Mm-hmm.